Congratulations, ladies. Still guesting now for Shotless on Signal. And now we are starting our interview. Are you ready to call the Philippines your second home? Yes, I totally yeah. am. <laughs> oh my gosh. What are your plans? Well, um, I'm going to stay here for probably a week more. Uh, yeah, a week or so. And then I'm going back home to celebrate with everybody in Puerto Rico. When is that? Um, probably mid or late November and see my parents and enjoy Christmas over there and then work boy, starts yes what, what's what's first for work um, I think Almost we're there. going to do um, some work in Puerto Rico and then um, you know Sorry. collide the plans that we have with the Miss Earth organization you know carousel production the Puerto Ricans are thanking you so much because it's the first time that you did the grand slam how do you yeah. feel about that um, I don't know I'm, first of all I'm honored to have one Miss Earth and second it's just fills me with pride and joy that I made Puerto Rico the first country ever to win you know all six crowns for that grand slam so let's talk about your advocacy again so how will you apply it here in the philippines um actually my advocacy is based on love and respect and i want that to be translated into love and respect for mother earth not only for the family and by that i want everybody to change small things in their everyday lives because small changes can bring um bigger um bigger change small changes bring bigger bigger changes like bigger consequences and um, small efforts just make a whole lot of difference into the things that we do and how we care and how the planet is going to be after. What are you, what are three things. small efforts that you do on the daily? Well, um, I started buying different products. For example, I always carry my utensils instead of using plastic. I use bamboo or sometimes the metal straw if I forget it because that's always in my purse. I always carry a tumbler for water or coffee or something that I'm drinking and you know instead of buying plastic bottles all the time just refill it in your house or wherever you go because nobody um, it refuses to give you water anywhere and also I take shorter showers and um, like for example my makeup I remove it with coconut oil and wipes that are biodegradable instead of harsh chemicals on my skin so that's good for me and the environment you're lucky because the philippines the, uh, does have a lot of coconut oil yes oh my gosh so that's like the fruit of life here you're gonna live here with your sisters um i don't know Leave? yeah Leave. yeah <laughs> but we need to come back home to pack our, uh, unpack our luggages and pack it again and maybe we can come back more close but we'll see more you close. more often <laughs> oh yes yeah here around yeah. right mm -hmm. and then like Congratulations on the production of Miss Earth, right? Everyone was everyone was watching. Everyone. My parents, like, for example, they it's 12-hour difference from here to Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. So they actually had a breakfast party. Yeah, my mom's friends and my friends, they came to our house over in Puerto Rico. And by 4, they were already um, watching the show. And 6.30 maybe? No, like 5.30, 6 in the morning, they were partying and waking up all the neighbors. So <laughs> are, you, it was are, you, are you leaving some beloved boyfriend back in Puerto no. Rico? You're single? <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Are you ready to fall in love in the Philippines? Um, my main focus right now is working on my advocacy. <laughs> so that will be in the back burner for now. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. But are you ready for suitors? Um, uh, maybe, maybe mm -hmm. not. But Miss Earth is supportive nonetheless. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you.